Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome into yet another ridiculously, ridiculously good race about to start here. Let me just flip this right on over. Again, real quick, I'll get you a link into both of their channels. But as you can see, we got a good one going here, ladies and gents. On the left, we got Mellow Ace, who at the moment is 10-4 and four on the season. Your number five seed in the NFC. And tonight he's going to be taking on your what is already NFC West champion, Mr. Jim Drizzle, who is 11-3 and three on the season. And again, he is your number four seed right now in the NFC. So, if the playoffs started today, which they start two weeks from tomorrow, actually, just heads up on that. So, if they started today, these two would actually be facing each other in the first round. So, we have somewhat of a preview going on here. By the way, Miller, your, your text is still on screen. <laughs> just saying. There you go. <laughs> Hit the wrong one. Anyways, what's up, everybody from Slack? How y'all doing? So again, if you hit up their channels, you can talk to both of these guys. Wish them both good luck. What we're going to do is a best two out of three race through the womb two. Again, whoever takes out mom's heart first is going to get a point at the bottom of the screen, and you need two. We reset both racers after that happens for one of them. We start from scratch. Seven banned items on the way down. Also, rock time coming in. We get those all listed out here. Uh, anyway, so you cannot take Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, Ipecac, Dead Sea Scrolls, Holy Bible, Two Picks or the Shovel on the way down. Those are all re-rollable with the D6. Nothing else is. Other than that, it is outlawed. So again, Two Picks can be picked up. Nothing else from that pool of seven items can be. Most glitchings outlawed unless there's a risk involved with it. We'll explain anything should we come across them on those notes. Whenever these guys are ready to go, they're going to do their own countdown as they're talking to each other. So again, best of luck to you both. Looks like they're just about to start. So again, Jim Drizzle on the right, Mellow Ace on the left. Big, uh, big match for both of them. They're both already in the playoffs with guaranteed spots. But now it's all about positioning. Can Jim take over the number three spot from Full Metal Gambit with a win? Or does Mellow Ace keep everything in line the way it is right now and set this up as a week one matchup in the NFC playoffs? We will find out. They're off and running. Best of luck, guys. And again, immediate reset, though. Mello, much luckier on his side. Going to grab the mark in his uh, in his curse room. So immediate damage up and one soul heart for him. He loses half of that on the way out, but still gets his damage up from it. So he's going to be very happy with his first floor already. How's up, Arkish? Doing great today. How about yourself? Ooh, Jim going to be pretty happy with his as well. So eh, he's thinking about it, at least. I saw that reset just about to happen. He thought about it. But he'll take his PhD, which will give him nothing but good or neutral pills. And again, that'll also let you know what they are. He's got range up on the ones that he's holding there right now. Also grab Maggie's Faith as he moves on to a new floor. We'll give him half an Eternal Heart, which if you get a second or get onto the next floor with you, becomes a full health container. And again, Mellow with that straight up rip through. Also grabbing himself a uh, Game Kit, I should point out. Turns you into Pac-Man, lets you eat your enemies, and uh, heals or randomly heals you for half a red heart when you do so. So Jim working on his first boss monstro as well. Not quite going to rip through it in the same fashion, but he'll get through this fight quickly. Mellow grabbing Flat Penny. Now as he picks up coins, there's a chance that that spawns a key for him. And he'll wait on that boss fight just momentarily until he finds his item room. <laughs> Johnny's so many cookies. What's up, Gurdivers? And a little bit more health for Jim, and he'll be moving on down to his basement, too. And needing a key. Actually getting one, so perfect timing on that item rock for Jim. Gonna go right into his second item room, grab the uh, tarot cards. Excuse me, his deck of cards, I should say. Gonna spawn one random tarot card for him. In this case, the lovers would give him two uh, red hearts, whatever room he uses at. And Mello with no key as well, gonna have to pass on that item room for the time being. He'll look for that before he goes to his boss room. Wow, and still finding items in curse rooms. So about that guppy's tail? No keys for Mello, so he's gonna then notice it says cursed in the lower right. Question is now, does that actually curse you? Uh, it's it's up in the air, honestly. I think it's kinda cool, but uh depends on if you get keys or not. It really does. You get a lot more chest spawns and therefore a lot less key spawns. So you have to be very careful about what you do with your keys from here on out, but that can play very, very heavily into your favor very, or a little bit later on, depending on what you get out of said chests. It's all about finding keys, though. And again, we got Famine for Mellow Ace's second boss fight, which Jim's just about to go into. First things first, he'll check that curse room. Wow, two troll bombs. Gee, thanks, game. Anyways, let's real quick say <laughs> to Famine, if you would, before he dies. 
So we'll wind up with one cube of meat from Meloase. And Jim with enough money, might as well. He's going to buy out this store, would be my guess. And indeed he will. So the ladder for Jim will get him over one spot openings. And again, Mello first on down to the caves one. Jim will be right back over for that boss. That's why they're all doing that, Interpreter. <laughs> And yet again, we got famine, so we all know the ever-popular... Hey, technically it's double A. Because there were two. Either way, both going to wind up with their Cuban meat at the end of this. Uh, again, Mello having found his new boss fight already. My guess would be... Let's see, with no key. May want to kill that boss first, but he's going to go back and find his item room. There's that Cuban meat for Jim. Again, he'll move on down with that. That'll orbit around block shots. Do seven damage to anything that it touches. And the more and more of them that you get, the more and more pieces of meat boy you wind up with. You're going to see Maggie's Faith, going to give him that half an Eternal Harp, which was the first thing to disappear as Jim got hit, but yeah, you get one at every floor, so it's it's kind of a nice little half health up, I guess, if nothing else. All right, and again, there's Guppy's Tail coming into play. All these locked things, no keys for Mello, so again, with that item room, also no key for it. That's why I was considering, do you go for it or not? He'll go back for his uh, boss fight at this point. Speaking of item rooms, Jim also looking at his for Caves 1. First things first, though, Mello going to rip through the uh, the husk here. This is a very, very easy enemy to kill. And also still with that uh, charge on Game Kid, there we go, finally using it. That's the easy way to kill him. So also getting your full heal out of that. Uh, also getting a little bit of health up, damage increase, not tears up on uh, meat. And he'll move into a devil deal. Wow, Razor Blade and Sister Maggie, huh? Uh, Sister Maggie, it is. So a follower with pretty decent damaging tears for one heart that uh, Mello just got, so more damage following him around. Jim Drizzle picked up two shots, so now based off of his luck, he's going to be firing out uh, teeth instead of tears. It'll be damage multipliers. Not quite enough money for him, so we'll be behind that map for now. We'll see if he does and happen to cross another nine cents somehow. And again, all these locked chests and locked rooms. Oh, Guppy's Tail, you are haunting Mellow Ace right now. So no way for him to get in. He's hoping for key spawns at the end of rooms. It's all Mellow can hope for here. All right, Rusty, keep more chance of key spawns now for uh, Mello again with Flat Penny. He just needs to find coins, and he's going to get himself more keys just off of picking up the coins. So laying on to that for now instead. It's all about finding money, though, too. Here we go. Finally something. Coin? Key? No, no key. Damn you, Rusty, or uh, Flat Penny. Why can you not give us a key when we need it? I know, all those gold chests, no keys. So another champion version of the Husk being taken care of by Jim Drizzle, already halfway through this. Again, yeah, for those that haven't checked out the Duel Link yet, I'm being serious when I call him SNES Power. Uh, Jim Drizzle actually uses an SNES controller USB into his uh, computer to play this game. So if you check out his stream, you can actually see a controller cam. I'm being serious when I say this. And yeah, mirror bosses go? Yeah, they're kind of mirrored. They're eh, kind of. It's close enough. We're also getting mirrored boss items, so meet again. More damage and health up for Jim. And might as well go check that curse room. Wow, all these double bombs. I'm telling you, that those curse rooms don't like Jim as much as they seem to like Mellow. Finally, keys for Mellow Ace. So on uh, up to his store. I can't believe he actually used that on, uh, on a uh, locked chest there. And again, nothing good out of that item room either, so moving on along, no more keys left for Mello. And all he got out of that was an Empress card, which will turn you into the Horror of Babylon, up your damage for the room you use it in. What's up, Nate? How you doing? Alright, Temperance card gonna spawn one Heart Machine, or uh, Blood Machine, depending on what you want to call that for Jim Drizzle. And hoping for a key as he's found his item room here for Caves 2.
Ooh, and everybody that's subscribed to Cobalt, we all see this one coming. Rainbow me if you guys would, because that is Rainbow Baby for Jim Drizzle on that perfect key tummy, might I add. So again, nice follower there. It's going to shoot out random follower tiers. We got all sorts of random nice ones there. You can get everything from Little Gish to Harlequin Baby. You name it, it's got it. Yep, small rocks are usually a pro, unless you have low speed, at which point be very, very wary of that small rock. That speed down will kill you sometimes. Be very careful of that. But again, for Jim, it's being bro. That damage is exactly what both of these guys need. Mel would be very happy with a little more damage on his tiers. He's got nice tiers at the moment, but a little bit more damage is always welcomed. So let's see, more curse rooms. Wow, these things don't like Jim. Well, at least we got pills this time, so finally something of value coming out of a of curse room. Uh, ooh, and tier rate up, so fire rate increase, and two soul hearts for Jim. Finally, value in those rooms. It was gonna happen sooner or later, it only took four floors. Yeah, I hate those floating heads. I'm with you on that one, Sir Taco. I despise those things. <laughs> Rin. All right, so Jim coming across his boss fight here for Caves 2, looking to catch up onto the same floor the Mel has moved himself onto on Depths 1. Uh, that would be movement speed increase with the Goat Hook, but it'll keep the Ace of uh, Spades instead, which will be more card spawns on Jim's side. Or more chance of card spawns, I should say, at the end of rooms and out of chess. Also a lot of gambling for that matter. I should probably point out that gambling machines can also produce cards. So yeah, good way to get those as well. He'll stay in real close to uh, champion level Gertie. Let his Cuban meat actually do some contact damage. But Mello on his side finding himself that item room. Cornered at the moment in between some blood. There we go, now he can get out. Ooh, taking cheap damage though. So box of items, one everything. Two of clubs will double up the... Really? <laughs> Mello can take those if he wants. Again, they are technically on the ban list, but there's the toothpicks, ladies and gents. You can see what they physically do for you. Watch his shots now. They move slightly faster on screen, and it's not that special. But again, there we banned him. Put him on the ban list. Let me rephrase that. Just for that reason, they are pretty crappy. Uh, but again, a little bit of shot speed increase for Mello. He does get to take those, because that's the one of those seven items you can actually pick up. And again, he didn't want them, but he took them anyways, because he might as well. There's nothing else he can do with them. Ah, oh, wow, I can't believe he dodged that explosion. Alright, all these devil deals. Jim now picking up spectral tears as well on his side. And he also got the uh, mark, I believe it was. I'm terrible with this and I can't really tell. Anyway, spectral tears for Jim now. So he's going to be able to shoot through rocks and things of that nature to block uh, shots coming in, but be able to still shoot himself. Also grabbing himself some damage up in a soul heart with that mark. See, Judge card, sure, that'll uh, give him a Judgment spawn. He's going to double up his bombs real quick with those two of clubs and keep the Judgy card with him. Yeah, but cosmetic effects are just cosmetic, that's the point. It's a little bit of shot speed increase and nothing else. Again, in a race, cosmetic effects do nothing for you. That would be like taking time out of the race to make sure that your nails were painted nicely. Ooh, how about a world card? So free full map reveal on Jim's side. That judgy please is paying off for him. How about a little bit of health up as well? So fourth red R container now for Jim. And he'll be making his way over to the right side. Mello fighting the boss fight here on Depths 1 already. And uh, excuse me, in Monstro 2. Notice again, watch his head. One, two, brimstone. One, two, brimstone. Move in between the two and the brimstone. Go side to side. You keep him trapped in this pattern if you guys haven't ever seen this before. Yep, shot speed is how fast your shots move on screen, not how fast you shoot them out, if that made sense. So it's like how fast your car is traveling, not how fast you produce the car. Oh, 
Hopefully that clear. It probably didn't clarify it anymore, but hopefully that helped. <laughs> So again, working on his advantage here. Jim's still looking for a uh, boss fight, but Mello again working on this advantage right now as he's on depths too. There's that item room finally showing up for Jim. Again, though, the world card going to help out considerably, especially if Jim gets an XL floor in the womb. Speaking of cards, hey, he's going to keep that deck of cards. Thank you. Uh, gamble, or uh, excuse me, portable uh, slot machine would have let him gamble on the fly, but mm, with nine cents, and again, gambling not really going to pay off all that well. It's not worth it. I keep the cards. Cards have so many more uses on them. And Counterfeit Penny, we've seen that a few times tonight out of Golden Poop. The only place you're finding that thing other than uh, gambling for it. But again, that will uh, give you a chance to get one extra penny on any coins you pick up. So pennies might be worth two cents, uh, nickels might be worth six, dimes might be worth eleven, for example. Wow! Sun card damaged everything in the room, full map reveal, and full red heart heal. So Jim gonna keep that. He'll use up his world card now because you can't carry two cards. So why not? Uh, so again, he sees he's only got the one room left to go. World card wasn't really useful, but hanging on to that sun card, he's now got two extra uses off of his... Excuse me, off of his card. Ooh, but talk about your time sinks. We're gonna fight a champion version, no less, of the Mask of Infamy for Jim Drizzle. Notice the no health bar on this boss fight. That's intentional. Edmund's a troll. Um, <clears throat> we love you, but you're a damn troll, sir. Um, <laughs> on that note, though, as soon as you take the heart out there, you see the back of the mask opens up, and you can actually start shooting that either from the side or from the back. But yes, everybody hates this boss. It is horrendous. And this thing is just a troll. If you can keep it on this back-to-back -back pattern like Jim's doing right now, though, this is perfect. Here's the problem. He turns on a dime, as you just saw. So you got the slowdown effect from uh, Little Gish off of Rainbow Baby, but it actually came back to haunt him more so than anything. Finally taking it out, very nicely done. Little bit of health up, and again that shot speed increase we were talking about. See, so two of hearts would have doubled up the amount of red hearts filling containers on Jim's side. Sun card obviously far more useful, that'll go with. Mellow, jeez, these space use items. Mr. Boom would be a one-time bomb usage, again with Mr. Mega, so more damage and more blast radius on it. But not worth it in this case game, kid, far more valuable. And he'll be heading on over to his mom's foot fight where Jim is uh, looking to find this. Also get with the, er, getting a golden key now is Jim Drizzle. Notice he opened up his store, didn't spend one of his two keys. He's got infinite keys for this floor thanks to that pickup. And wow, that's a troll right there. Jim isn't even going to pick it up because the game just is trolling him. So notice that Jim did not take the steam sale. There's no more stores from here on out. Steam sale gives you half off of any items in stores. Yeah, game's trolling him. So, nothing he could do with that. He's just going to leave it right behind and keep going on looking for item room and boss fight. Again, speaking of which, it'll be the same one Mello's fighting, Mom's Foot, which he's halfway through right now, just worrying about the extra spawns. Emperor's Guard gave him Horror Babylon for the room. So, more damage increase. Wow, does he look nasty right now with those toothpicks, too. That's a hell of a look. And again, down to two hearts on his side. No charge and make that one and a half. No charge on that, uh, make that one. But uh, no charge on his game, kid, so no heals coming off of that for him. And now he has to play it very safe as Mom can't touch him anymore. Any other enemy can hit him once and he's still okay. Mom does it and it's over. Speaking of that, Jim on into his Mom's foot fight as well. And again, you see Blue Baby Soul putting in some work, actually taking uh, Robo, er, Robo Baby, taking, uh, excuse me, Rainbow Baby around behind it. And again, leading it around that kind of odd pattern and still fire out whatever direction you tell it to. And mellow down to the last little bit, gonna take the foot out as if he took out one of the eyeballs, there was a chance he died. Both taking out the fight at the same time though. Damage up for Mellow, I uh, did not get to see what it was for Jim, sadly. Two of diamonds will double up Jim's money. Curse of darkness for Mellow means no map on this floor. Speaking of that, Jim Drizzle using a sun card, so what would have been a full red heart heal? More importantly, full map and compass reveal. And again, didn't worry about damaging anything in the room either. But he's going to work his way on over here, and wow, that would have been a hell of a thing to try and figure out where this boss fight was. That's a nasty floor. And again, both working on Womb 1. Mello has to randomly find this boss fight. Also has to be very careful of the one heart he has remaining. Jim got health up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Shadow. Yeah, that's a ridiculously large Moon 1 floor for not having Curse of the Lost on it. Either that or I didn't see it say Curse of the Lost, one of the two. But that seems awful excessively large.
Wow, all that money that Jim totally doesn't need, but thanks, game. Again, Mello's still looking for some hearts. He's got that full charge on Game Kid now. So if he finds a room with a lot of enemies, he may just pop that and hope for the best. Yeah, which is a full red art container. Speaking of which, there we go. There's the heals I was talking about with Game Kid. So Mello up to two hearts now. He's going to stay away from the rest and not worry about the timer fading. So at least one full heart coming out of that for Mello. He's breathing a little bit easier now. It's still all about finding that boss fight. Jim's got just this one more room to clear. He'll be at his. Yeah, Samson's locked. More chance that it, or chance that if you kill off an enemy, that you get a little bit of damage up for the room. Same thing as uh, Blood Rage, but again, random chance instead of guaranteed. Judas's tongue would have turned any uh, devil deal that he had not seen yet if it cost red hearts into just a one red heart cost. But again, at this point for Mello, eh, not so worth it as Jim's going to move on to his, and with a little bit of fire rate increase, that is, Jim will move on into his uh, win one boss fight. And once again, we got death. So not champion version this time, not as scary as the other. And already halfway through it is Jim. So off the horse, now is the interesting part because now we're going to see uh, death actually spawn as extra enemies. Right about now. If he doesn't die, really? Wow, Death being a bro hasn't spawned an enemy tonight against our racers. Wow to that. Second cube of me for Jim. We'll add on to the one he's got. Chariot card. I'll give him a, a one-time use of the Unicorn Horn for damage and invincibility. But again, now Meat Boy fires out tears as well as his original blocking and more damage on Jim's side. Again, why not? Wow, that dodge. Damn, Jim. Woo! Yeah, good guy Death, me and a bro. Who would have thought? Seriously, I raise a show of hands. Who would have thought Death could be a bro? Not me. Again, good damage, and that's why Jim got through that fast enough where you didn't see the uh, 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 the spawns happen on Death's side. But even so, wow, is Death being a bro tonight. All right, there's that boss fight up Mellow. So again, he's looking to catch up onto the same Womb 2 floor that uh, Jim Drizzle's on. And again, cannot use your game kit in this room. Mello knows this already. If enemies are flying like these hearts are just off the ground, they don't take damage except from your orbital. So technically, he could still be invincible and phase plant him. But it's kind of not worth it. So more money that Mello doesn't need. I'll leave that behind. Move on in and fight the Fallen in the Womb 1. Wow, I've seen this a lot of times tonight. So again, guaranteed Devil Deal item free of charge here for Mello Ace at the end of this. Alright, all that health back for Jim, and he keeps moving on along here in his womb, too. Again, just the one more boss fight to find for him. So it's all about timing now on both sides, as Mello's just about done with the Fallen. I may actually consider popping that game kit for the rest of this, just to get through this. I mean, a bit. <laughs> yeah, Jim's Isaac looks like it's had better days. I think he's seen better days, honestly. And before somebody makes a musical joke about the, the song Better Days. Ooh, the Pact. Thank you very much. Damage up, fire rate increase, and two soul hearts for Mello. He'll skip that devil deal and move on down to his womb too, both in expansion utero versions. All about finding Mom's heart right now. So whoever finds that Mom's heart fight first is going to have a big, big advantage. Aw, Casper Raid. What's up, Casper Raiders? How y'all doing? Ooh, and look at that. Speaking of that advantage, how about Jim Drizzle on the right side being the first to find this boss fight? He's been on the floor for a while, so it was going to probably happen there, but you never know. Mello can still get very lucky and find his quickly here. Yeah, ooh, yeah. But again, we're looking at what could possibly be the end of the first round. Jim Drizzle holding on to a two of hearts club can double up the amount of red hearts he has filling his containers for a lot of heals if he does need them. And again, looking to take a one to nothing lead, just has to take out Mom's heart. Mellow Ace on the left side, looking to quickly find the same fight, but at a 50% damage differential and no bombs, he's up a creek right now. So again, Jim Footin, the last finishing touches on Mom's heart. There's that two of hearts, he'll double up the three, head into six, and again, he's back at full health, so again, nothing to worry about. Last little bit of damage, Mellow gonna run out of luck here. And just like that, with everything clear in a 22 minute, 34 second run on Mr. Jim Drizzle's side. Very nicely done. And a one to nothing lead. So nicely done for both racers, might I add. Mello is right on his tails, guys. But again, finding those dead ends comes back to haunt you with no bombs. And that's all it takes sometimes. So again, beautiful, beautiful job there by both racers. That was a good one to start this off. And again, 
for a playoff preview. We were both in the womb, too, looking for that same boss fight right there. <laughs> this is, Playoffs are going to be crazy good, guys. I can't wait for this. On that note, though, like I said, let me flip this on over. We're going to run a few minutes worth of ads, get all set up for round number two here. And again, Mel is still looking for that boss fight. I'm curious with that one bomb. Can we get through here? Is it right up here? Get out of the way. There we go. Right here? No. Ooh, God, it keeps splitting, so it'll be over to the left side somewhere. Mel will find that soon enough. But on that note, let me get you a link into There's a link already. Thank you, Amy, into both of their channels. Go say what's up and good luck to both of these racers. We'll be right back in two minutes. We'll get them both reset for round number two, and we'll start from scratch all over again. So hang tight, guys. We'll be right back with you. Playoffs? Playoffs? You can't even win a game I'm talking about playoffs. Oh, for the love of God, I can't log in. Are you serious? <sighs> do it this way. Do, 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 When this loads up, I swear to God, I'm running ads in a second here, guys. There we go. That fired finally. Ah, uh, ads. <laughs> Jesus. Alrighty, so we're back and we're clear. Sorry about that, but like I said, I got logged out of my Twitch account for a second or two there, so I had to actually log back in to run ads. Woo, good times. Anyways, let's flip this back over, because this, just like that chair, let's flip this over, because it's going to be good. How the hell does he do that, by the way? Like, who trained a bear to do this? And what the hell is wrong with your life, where that's a thing that you do? I mean, more power to you, but I ain't messing with a bear, dude. I'm just not doing it. On that note, like I said, we're back for round number two. Let me totally change subjects here. Uh, no, like I said, this one's going to be good, though. We got Jim Drizzle with a one to nothing lead right now over Mellow Ace. And again, if Jim pulls this one out, he'll move up to third in the NFC playoff picture. Full Metal Gambit will drop down to fourth, and that would actually make our playoff preview of week number one Full Metal Gambit against Mellow Ace. So this could change up a few things here. Mellow looking for two back-to-back -back wins, though, which could put him at his 11th victory of the season. Yeah, 11th victory of the season. And again, uh, that would keep him in the five spot, nonetheless, in the NFC. But would keep things simple, where it would keep Jim Drizzle as his first round opponent in the NFC playoffs coming up in two weeks. So again, they'll be off and running at their convenience. Again, best of luck to you both. Let me get you a link into both of their channels. 
And again, same rules apply. We'll do the uh, best two out of three. Like I said, trying to finish it off on Jim's side. Mela won two back-to-back -back wins, but we'll race through the womb too. Whoever kills off uh, Mom's heart first is going to be your winner. Well, how to find three soul hearts? Damn. Uh, where can we find three soul hearts and get somehow randomly teleported back into that room for Mellow Ace? That mom's knife. I might just reset this run at this point. I may just reset this run. Because, wow, that's evil game. That is straight up evil. <laughs> I would have spawned it for red hearts. That would have only cost him one. for left-hand corner, guys. Also, you misspelled it. So, piercing shots yet again making their appearance, so... And on that note, we got uh, Famine making his appearance. I was almost waiting to see if we could get to a boss fight quickly for Mellow, but no such luck. Either way, real quick, let's say... <laughs> to Famine as before he gets melted. We got Sacrificial Dagger doing some work for Jim Drizzle as well here. Again, 17 damage to anything that that comes in contact with. Oh, excuse me. And mellow into his boss fight. Ah, it wasn't... Didn't matter anyways. So with those piercing shots, I'll take on Monstro, who just cheap shot at him on that jump. What happened there? I don't think I've ever seen Monstro do that before. It's like, hey bro, chest bump. <laughs> There's some damage. I'm out. That was bizarre. So again, Jim moving on to his second floor, slightly ahead. Yeah, they hear you, trust me. <laughs> when two cars are right next to each other, roll the fucking window down. <laughs> Jesus. Real early Polaroid for Jim Drizzle. Wow, to that. So second floor Polaroid, if he gets down to half a red heart again, we'll spawn a uh, five second damage shield for him. And again, same theory goes, if for whatever reason, let's say you find Guppy's paw, or you die and come back to life with the Honk, and you're the blue baby. Yeah, every time you get hit because you don't have half a red heart, it still counts the same and you get that five second damage shield. No, trust me, that was not my voice doing the hay for uh, Famine. I just happened to find out one day that my my vocal cords are shot enough that I can actually make that noise. Uh, so I, I randomly did that and everyone's like, oh my god, that's spot on. Like, really? It, okay, sure. So I've been doing that ever since, just because everybody said it was so damn spot on, which I don't hear it, but whatever. Nobody hears their own voice sound like they think it does. It's kind of one of the cool things about psychoacoustics, like you never hear yourself the way that other people do. You don't hear music the way other people do for that matter either. So it's, it's really weird like that, but everybody hates the sound of their own voice. Like personally, I do too. That's just me. It, to me, it sounds nasally as hell, and I don't happen to enjoy it, so... I don't think anyone likes the sound of their own voice, especially recorded. I can't watch highlights or anything. It's weird. I hate it. I'm one of those people, like, I just can't do it. <laughs> if wins against the White Sox don't count. <laughs> it's a new stat. Wins against White Sox, so you actually lose credibility depending on how many losses you had to that team. Now, anyways, I... <laughs> That's smart ass now. Uh, so anyways, a little bit more speed here for Jim. And he'll be on down to his caves one. So slight advantage on his side, though. Mello looking at with no key yet for it. But looking at his item room and boss fight. I'll take out this boss fight first. Eh, we got a coin. Let's find a key. Or actually, I forgot he had enough bombs. Secret room? No luck. So Mello can't get into that item room yet. He's hoping for a box of items off of this, if nothing else. So at least he can get in there. But we got double Gertie Jr., which kind of an annoyance on the first couple floors. Guaranteed to spawn a soul heart for him, though, because they are the blue ones. In my head, I sound like James Earl Jones. Damn right. This is CNN. Damn right. <laughs> Actually, forget that. In my head, I want to sound like Barry White. Winning. What's up, Desus? How you doing? So let's get those yes crowns again as Mello picks up a little bit of money with that pageant boy. Still no key. Definitely grabbing his eternal heart and gonna skip his item room. So on down to his uh, next floor. Another health up there for Mello with that half a uh, eternal heart he had. 
Jim Drizzle on the other uh, side, on the right side, picking up the Holy Grail in a curse room. So yet again, we're seeing those god items showing up in curse rooms. Which means probably going to see a devil deal, if I remember that rule correctly. If he gets one on this floor, that is, it's probably going to be a devil deal. We'll see what happens. Either way, flying in one extra health uh, container. Health? There's an F in that word. Health container for Jim Drizzle. So he's up to four. Used that two hearts, doubled up the two hearts he had filling it, and now he's at full health. Also holding onto a world card. Again, full map and compass reveal. But I'll wait for that as he's got his item room and boss fight here. Again, no key for it, though. The never-ending story of tonight's races. No keys for these item rooms. But real quickly, Jim actually did find one. Gonna grab Mom's Bra. We saw that beforehand. Gonna freeze enemies in place. And probably gonna be used right here. And lo and behold, it is. So he'll walk right in, let that sacrificial dagger do some serious work. And that is a heck of an item combination right there for Jim Drizzle. So also a little bit of fire. Wow, really? A little bit of fire rate increase with the uh, wire coat hanger. Mellow's gonna take them both. Wow. I saw this. Yeah, I, I saw the opportunity and the thought flashed in Mellow's head. He took them both. So Guppy's head and the nine lives dead cat on Mellow's side. Two pieces of Guppy here on Caves 1, but nine lives of one red heart apiece now for him. So he's trying for that Guppy, and again, Mello being behind by one race right now knows that Guppy could definitely win this for him. If he finds one more piece of Guppy in any way, shape, or form, he's going to take it. Doesn't matter if it costs him a life, he still gets Guppy out of it. So definitely a good move. It's risky, but I like the move by Mello. He knows he needs that. Whoa, oh, jeez. Judgy, please and thank you over on the right. How about the compass now for Jim Drizzle? And again, just like that world card, going to show you where your boss fights, uh, item rooms, and uh, other such things like your store, as you can see where a blood challenge room happened to be at. We actually had full guppy a little bit earlier tonight for, um... Ah, uh, crap, was it Gambit? I don't remember who it was now. Shoot, I don't remember who had it now. There's only been two races before this, I already can't remember who had guppy. Dear God. All right, so the much easier version of this fight now. Mello working on Peep here yet again. Again, you see that freeze effect for Jim Drizzle. Those two orbitals, and now a better second orbital with the second cube of meat for Jim. Adds, uh, excuse me, adds onto the one cube he's got and makes Meat Boy's head now. Let's see, he's going to try just on over, I think, towards his boss fight. And, yep, that looks like the way it's breaking, so one or two more rooms here. Yep, right on over to a boss fight for Jim Drizzle. That compass going to pay some serious dividends on his side. Mello really going to have to hope for that other piece of guppy right about now. Damn, you've made three times this season, Gambit, now? Jesus. You've been like half of the guppies this season, then. Does that make up for not re-rolling a Bible into a Sacred Heart for you yet? Yeah, why not? How about a free room with another judge? Oh, God, on Mellow's side. But how about another judgey, please, for Jim? Oh, that's needed. Gee, the ladder and flying. Why? Screw physics. That's why. So, kind of useless item there, but Jim gonna move right on in to fight the bloat himself. And again, I'll be ripping right on through this by that freeze effect of Mom's bra and those two orbitals doing some serious work for him. Look at that. No damage taken. Beautiful work. A little bit more health up. Holding on to that world card still. I'm down to the depths, too. No, that wasn't the cat trick. Mello got shot by a cheap... Sh well, not a cheap shot, but he walked into damage at the very end of that fight, so he got kind of screwed over there, basically, is what happened. For lack of a better term, he kind of screwed himself over. Wow, is that map screwy on Jim's side? Where the hell is this breaking off at? Okay. Ooh, Mello down again, down to six lives. He's really hoping for that uh, any other piece of guppy at this point. Oop, yep, there we go. I was going to say, so, like I said, he was pretty well pushing that. Kind of questionable if you want to keep running with it, especially after dying that many times to peep. And lo and behold, there's a reset for Mello. A little bit of damage up with Brother Bobby following behind him. But again, he knows he needs something at this point, and that third piece of guppy was far too far away for him. Oh, and it kicked me out of my chat room. What the hell? Well, did the world start? <laughs> it's my chat's acting funky. There we go. Now I'm back in. That was weird. It's like, yeah, we're going to reconnect you in 180 seconds. You're back in. Here you go. <laughs> All right. So Mr. Megan now for the last item room on Jim Drizzle's side. 
So now he's got five extra bombs, adds to the damage output on him, also increases their or increases their blast radius. Wow, why is that so hard for me to say tonight? Oh, they did? How do you know? <laughs> How did I know? And it's bound to happen with that many people. Oh, look at this. Really, game? Now you give him the other piece of Guppy on his new run? Jesus. Guppy's paw from Meloace would turn any red heart container he has into three soul hearts apiece. So he's sitting on nine blue hearts at the moment, but really, to that game, that's a troll moment right there. That is Isaac trolling you right there. Just wow to that one is all I can say. Jim ripping on through his mom's foot fight. Mom's coin purse, eh, not gonna bother with the pills. They'll keep that world card. Heading on down to his womb. No luck with the, uh, excuse me, with an XL floor. And I'll head right on over, hopefully, towards this boss. But look at all these empty rooms. Oh my god, really? How about Tammy's head in case he wanted it? It'll keep Mom's bra. He actually wants a charge before he gets to that boss fight. Thank you, finally enemies in the womb for Jim. Wow. Who would have thought? Yeah, it's on low power mode. That's basically what I assume happens when you get that many people in one chat room like they have for what's going on with like all the uh, the League of Legends. And, uh, there isn't there something else going on too? I've kind of forgotten. Either way, when you get that many people in those rooms together, you're basically going to conserve power wherever you can. So it's not like I'm blaming them. I'm just letting you know what's up. <laughs> That's basically what you do. You have to put it into like conserve mode at that point because those are going to be crazy channels. With that many people watching, yeah, you gotta play it safe and keep those up and running. WCS, thank you. I knew there was something else. Well, that mom's bra. Yep, there goes uh, Guppy's paw for every one of those red art containers on Mellow's side. And he's gonna take the same item we see Jim utilizing right here to freeze the enemies in place with mom's bra. Let's see, not worth the flying. It would be kind of nice, but he's already got it. Uh, so again, he's gonna leave behind the pony. Yeah, that devil deal's kind of cool, but the yeah, that bra with the freeze effect has been doing too good. The tear damage, not as worthwhile as the damage off of that sacrificial dagger. Jim on down to the womb, too, without buying anything. And again, you see that world card. So this room, one, two, three, four, five more to clear, and he'll be at his mom's foot, or excuse me, mom's heart fight. And looking for a two to nothing win and moving up to the third spot in the NFC playoffs. Yeah, 180k in one. There's your reasoning, and that's only going to get bigger on that number. So, enough said. That's basically why. So, that's called power saving mode. That's a very smart move on Twitch's part. Don't misunderstand. I'm not knocking that. Crap's going to happen with chat. Just pointing it out. So, no, they're doing the very smart thing. You keep those channels as happy as you can, basically. That's you, that's business. You do that. <laughs> Believe me, on the grand scale of things, like, let's recap. We don't even have a hundredth of what they have. Yeah. We don't look like anything. So... Enough said. <laughs> it's the way it should be, though. So, like I said, crap happens where I get kicked out of chat for a whopping two seconds. Oh, no. But I'm back, so it's not like it mattered. <laughs> not like it mattered. Okay, look at this method here by Jim Drizzle. I like this quite a bit. So, hanging over those rocks, he knows he's not going to take damage, but he's utilizing his orbitals very, very well here. And again, that sacrificial dagger's really been doing the damage. Although... Cancer might help with your tears doing some of that damage now. And again, that half a heart may have that. Well, I actually wouldn't play any difference at the moment, so Jim will leave that there. Cancer's going to double up your tear fire rate. So now his tears actually help out considerably as well, as he's going to fire out twice as many. And again, that book is sent from LOA spawns one random item for you, whether it's a key, a bomb, a coin, a heart, I'm forgetting something, a card. Uh, I think that's all it can do. He's also going to fight against the Headless Horseman here. So he'll wind up with that same choice that Jim has. Do you leave behind Mom's bra or do you take flying? And Mello doesn't have flying. So that's actually a real decision for him. I might take the flying, and I think Mello's going to do the exact same thing here. Yes, he will take the pony move on down to his caves too. But again, Jim finishing off this one last room here. So Loki's just about dead. There we have it. Two and a half hearts. He's moving in to face Mom's heart, looking for a two to nothing win, which would be his 12th of the season, pushing him into the third overall spot in the NFC if he can get there. So again, all about finishing this off. Has that Mom's bra charge as well. Utilizing those bombs very nicely. Extra damage because of Mr. Mega. And again, I'll rip right on through all these extra spawns like no problem. I'm with you on that, Mr. The 14K raised. <laughs> That's insane. 
It was insane. But seriously, thank you to everybody that did that. Raising money for St. Jude's. That was nuts. On that note, there's that freeze effect. Jim's going to circle around a few times. And with a little bit of authority there, ladies and gentlemen, your two to nothing winner, Mr. Jim Drizzle. Give him.